Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a gradient blur in Adobe Photoshop. So you can see that we have the blur here, off, on, off, on. It's super customizable. So let's get started on this. It's actually a very, very simple effect to pull off. So first off, we need to grab ourselves a photo. I grabbed this photo from Envato Elements, a great subscription-based service to get an unlimited amount of stock footage, photos, etc., from a monthly subscription. Check out the link in the description below. Once we have our image imported, we're going to go ahead and duplicate that. So right click duplicate or control slash command J to duplicate that layer. We're then going to go down here into add a layer mask, make sure that you have this selected, not the, the right side, but the or not the left side, but the right side, the mask itself, we're going to go to the gradient tool could be hiding under the paint bucket or the 3d material. Under the gradient, we're going to make sure that we are choosing a black and white gradient it should be in here probably under the basics is where it's usually kept we want that black to white transition we want to make sure that we are uh depending on if you want to invert the effect or not white to black over here is the typical one that means wherever you start is where it's going to be blurry and wherever you end is where it's going to be not blurry now we need to actually add the effect to the layer so we're going to select the layer as a whole go up to filter blur and then down into the, I like to use lens blur for this particular effect because that's what we're creating is a blur from the lens. So we're gonna look at what we wanna set here. I have this set to nine. Um, and so far, I think that looks like a pretty good blur. Of course, you can make this bigger, smaller, customize it in any way, shape or form that you want. Once I have that selected or applied, I will then reselect that little right side. And now we're gonna click and drag from the top down i'm going to do a full drag that means it's going to have you can see right over here to the right the black portion is the under layer and the top portion is the top layer so that means we're going to be slowly adding this blur as it goes up and up and up now then you might be thinking well in this particular case the clouds up here probably wouldn't be blurry because you know they're quote unquote close to the front of the lens here and if you wanted to create an effect like that we can actually use this sort of mirrored one right here and we can drag through the center and what that will do is it'll actually create a blurry patch just from the center onwards so we can actually make it a little smaller and you can see that there's just a blurred patch in the center now clear clear so we just need to keep adjusting that until it's more of what we like which may be something a little like this looks good where we have uh, no blur right at the beginning and no blur at the bottom but a nice blurred background right here fun little effect if you actually invert this you can create a tilt effect where if you do it like this you'll see that now all we have is the center blurred which kind of looks really really neat in a scene like this uh, tilt shift is I believe what the the terminology for that is. But that is how you really quickly and easily create a gradient depth of field blur in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe to the channel. I make videos on all the different Adobe products and it's really nice when you can learn all the different products and implement them together. So keep that up and keep learning. Uh, until next time everyone, see ya.